Safe from predation, the caterpillar continues its march up the milkweed stalk. This caterpillar is a very fussy eater, but given its favorite choice of food, it will consume many times its weight. For three to four weeks, it will continue to outgrow its soft, stretchable skin, molting four to six times. Spinning a silk button, it attaches itself to the underside of a stalk. By moving its head from side to side, the larva draws the silk out to a fine thread, which hardens upon exposure to air. Once securely attached, it slowly loosens its legs, one pair at a time. Within a few minutes, it will shed its final skin through contorted gyrations, wriggling out of its tight garment on the way to becoming a pupa. As if by magic, it transforms into a pendant of jade inlaid with gold. Within a week or two, metamorphosis occurs and a spectacular monarch butterfly is revealed. The wings are crumpled at first. The newborn butterfly must now pump life into the wings until they harden. Although powdery to the touch, the wing is actually covered with tiny overlapping scales, like shingles on a roof. Each tile serves as a miniature solar panel to absorb the sun's heat and warm body fluids. The adult butterfly is a complex animal compared to its caterpillar. Its eyes can see many more hues than a human's. Wing colorations aid in finding mates. Cold-blooded creatures, butterflies regulate their body temperature by changing the angle of their wings. They seek the ground to warm up and heights to cool off. The need to bask in the sun is risky business, however. An alert eastern Phoebe has a hungry family to feed.
within the scheme of nature's efficient system, this butterfly completes its final mission. From mating and reproducing to rejuvenating its habitat by pollinating plants. Its final contribution is as a food source. That's a lot to accomplish within a six to eight week life cycle. On the prairie, a kestrel watches a western tiger swallowtail, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Even airborne, butterflies cannot escape from all their predators. Bad weather takes its toll on butterflies. Thunderstorms are especially hazardous. How do these delicate creatures survive the elements? Well, some don't. This rain-soaked monarch must stay quiet to conserve energy. At first glance, the monarch might look like a good meal to a hungry young robin, but it's not a wise choice. It does not take the bird long to realize the peril of eating the distasteful monarch. Hopefully, the lesson was well learned. Monarchs break all the butterfly rules. Appropriately named after the British monarch, William of Orange, this regal butterfly fears neither being eaten nor freezing in winter. Poisonous to predators, they are free to flap along at leisure. Unlike other butterflies, which winter over as eggs, pupas, or adults, monarchs fly south for the winter. During warm months, monarchs, like other butterfly species, hatch, mate, and die in less than two months. But the last monarchs of the season undergo hormonal changes and the surviving generation migrates as far as 3,000 miles to escape the cold. Mimicry serves an important function in nature. Although this viceroy does not get to accompany the monarch on its winter vacation, its almost identical coloration to the monarch fools predators into thinking it too is poisonous. The smaller viceroy is distinguishable from the monarch by the dark horizontal band near the edge of the wing. At summer's end, the monarch is busy storing fat for the long voyage south. Riding the prevailing wind, 100 million monarchs east of the Rockies descend upon and tent the fir trees of Mexico's mountains near Mexico City. West of the Rockies, some 10 million head for 40 different eucalyptus groves along the coast of Southern California. These masters of the air can travel up to 200 miles a day and fly as high as 7,000 feet. Some say the migration is simply the result of following the milkweed plant southward, but others say these beauties possess an inner compass. The answer could simply be genetic inheritance. The same monarch which flies south returns north in early spring. Monarchs leave their roosting sites after mating in late February or early March, and the age-old cycle begins anew. It's hard to believe the monarch could become extinct, but their winter roosting sites occupy expensive real estate. 
If these areas continue to be logged and commercially developed, we may soon lose our best known and best loved American butterfly. It's easy to attract butterflies to your own backyard. This comma butterfly is attracted to the sweetness of a fermenting melon. Even an apartment balcony can welcome butterflies. Their needs are simple. Sun for basking, a patch of moist earth or casual water, and flowers for nectaring. Remember, spray sparingly. Pesticides kill butterflies and their predators. In the past, Butterflies never needed us for survival, but now they do. I can't imagine our world without butterflies. Aside from their fascinating beauty, they regulate plant abundance. And butterflies are important prey species. Disruption down here at the butterfly level causes damage that's felt all the way to the top of the food chain. Like the whooping crane and grizzly bear, these magnificent little creatures also deserve our protection. If not only for their critical role in nature, then certainly for the pleasure we all take in seeing the beauty of butterflies. I'm Marty Stauffer. Until next time, enjoy our wild America.